How do you spell P.O.S. Patrol? Piece of... Cave of pain. <laughs> I hope to not use you too much for repairs. It's been harsh. <laughs> Open that rain holds off. Got me poncho, all good. This car is a classic example, isn't it? You let the glamour or the glory get in the way of common sense and preparation. Here's open or don't fall into the same trap. You ready, buddy? You know you're talking to a fucking inanimate object. Yeah, I know, I know. Be nice to me. Want to get your socks caught in the chain again? No. Okay, mate. Working in pubs might be great for picking up a bit of cash and some free food, but my God, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Ready, sweetie? You're still talking to me. <laughs> oh. One thing about it being about a kilometre above sea level, <laughs> flats don't exist. Well, that's for a population of about 80, about 65 of those over the age of 12, it's got its own police station and school. One copper in town, he's side-eyed at me twice so far, but hey, that's all good. See that? It's even got its own community swimming pool. Uh, October the 14th, and we've still not cracked 17 degrees yet during the day. Holy shit, that wind's blowing hard. You can tell a lot of these old brutal tracks, and a brutal track is just an unnamed track to get from point A to point B. Um, they're always lined with fruit trees. A lot of the old time it's had it all down pat. Although on the upside, we're about to get a crack and tail wind. Take it slow, mate. No need to crush the first hill. Lots of hills in front. Oh, it's like 
like a gentle hand pushing me on the back. <coughs> oh, that sounded pleasant. <laughs> it's been two months since I've been dive bombed, not two months, probably a month and a bit since I've been dive bombed by a magpie. Yeah, can't tell me nerves that though. Getting up to about the 900 metre mark. We're going to flip back around. This is one of the accommodation centres up here and one of the artist retreats. Got me scepticism about people that call themselves artists. I have no idea what an artist is. There's one in there. This is a wonderful place to stay. Hill and Holiday Ranch. People often say that art should be a, a mirror on society and it's just basically reflecting our inner to our outer. But man, art should be a sledgehammer, a weapon, a slap up the side of the head that says, look at what you have become. Society, look at yourself. That's fucking art. No war on the Opera House. This is not art on the side of what street building in Newcastle, the Tina Festival. Yeah. Fucking mirror. Jesus. Okay. Better be careful. I'll probably hit the only car in town. This could be fun. I've met more people in the last fucking six weeks that have called themselves artists. Man, I felt like doing a pro heart and just vomiting spaghetti all over the floor as they hear you turn that into a bloody dragonfly. Like seriously, art should be a slap up the head to let you know, look at what you have become. Look at yourself. Anyway. Better than the alternative, I suppose. No art. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. God, this is beautiful. It's going to be as windy as hell up here. Oh. Just ticking along at about 13 clicks an hour. People around here say their house is more than 100 years old, anyone barely looks. <laughs> You've really got to get up over 130 for it to be even significant. Ooh, interesting note, the old Fairfax house is up here. Yes. Uh, heading towards Kissing Point Lookout. Nice little gap there. <sighs> that one there, 149 years old. G'day. A couple of homemade speed bumps coming up. Whole lot smoother than um, Merlin's lookout, that's for sure. 
can still look out for washboards and shark stalls. I'm not going to get anywhere near close to the sides like I normally would. The mud is incredible. Put a slight straight off. <laughs> oh wow. Jesus Christ, that eagle's having fun. Up and up and up. I mean, this is soft underground, underfoot, I should say, under tyre, I should say. Put your false teeth in, Paul, and watch for congregations. <laughs> I find that rather pleasant. It's only 1.6 kilometres, 1.5 kilometres from the hotel to this lookout. Um, Merlins, about 3.5. Both doable in a two-wheel drive. Just take your common sense with you. He's got a cracking little bombing uphill up here. 30 metres, 18%. Scared the shit out of the kid last week. <laughs> I didn't even see him. Uh, careful, dude, careful. Slippery, slippery, slippery. Ooh. There it is. very similar to Merlin's at this point, except it's got this fun little bit at the end. Okay. Let's go mate, let's go mate, go, 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 fuck ya, yeah! Whew. Oh, careful on their legs, look at that. Oh. That's Merlin's lookout directly there. Come around, you got orange about 65 kilometers that way, down a bit further. That way, you've got Bathurst about 70 kilometers as the crow flies, and by the road, about 80 from here, 75 from the turn off. Kissing point lookout, hill end. Holy shit, I'm out of shape. Oh, god, look at those clouds. Fluffy clouds make me happy. <sighs> oh, that's enough lollygagging. Don't think there's much in the threat of rain, but I brought a poncho just in case. Oh. And kudos to whoever back in the 1800s built these seats. They are great. I've got one of the biggest bikes on the market, and it makes it look small. One point five kilometers from where you're sleeping, and there's another three of these. Wow, sort of touch them. Happy bike packing, everybody. Oh, that was my hand in front of the camera. Happy Friday, happy Friday.